Xiao Yu, you've always helped Sun Quan, and now our kingdom is huge. That's why we're going to fight that man Cao Cao. According to Zhou Yu, this Cao Cao is a really mean guy that can't be left ignored. He was really mad. I wonder what happened. I'm not really sure, but anyone who makes my Zhou Yu mad makes me mad too. Let's go, Zhou Yu! Let's do this together! Damn you, Cao Cao! If you had just spoken of your ambitions for the land, I would have ignored you. But you desire more than just the land. My... My beloved Xiao Kiao. Forgive me. I got a little carried away. This has nothing to do with you. Do not worry about it. The next battle shall take place at Chi B. We must support the missions of our fellow officers in order for this strategy to succeed. Let's go, Xiao Kiao. But remember, do not leave my side. This battle has us treading in very dangerous waters. If we are to defeat Cao Cao's army, it is absolutely essential that you complete your missions. Men, this river shall guide us to our future! This time we'll face our enemy with fire. Follow Zhou Yu's instructions and bring home a victory. Stand your ground until their offensive subsides. I'm invincible as long as I'm with Lord Zhou Yu. Unfulfilled. Come back later and try again! Who could have foreseen this? Assault! Hang on! 
bridge is still standing? What's taking so long? So, my might was not enough. the bridge. Withdraw at once! I've got a bad feeling about this. What? The path is blocked? Send out a ship and re-secure it! That went quite well, if I do say so myself. But this battle is far from over. Now, the difficult part begins. How about that? That works, I can show you. Reinforcements, eh? The fire will be twice as deadly if they can't move. Blocking their boots with the <laughs> Start preparing the fire ship! Now, attack! I knew you'd come for me. Now commence my prayer for win. Yes. Time to 
time has come. Come back later and try again. You cannot afford this interruption. Overwhelm the enemy. Your might is essential to my strategy. Left unfulfilled. Come back later and try again! If you stand in my way, I shall show no mercy. Impressive! Come back later and try again! Embark and head straight for the enemy ships! Now the time has come. We shall lay our hopes on this wind and have it carry them to the enemy. Fire burns with the spirit of Wu! It worked! Begin the counterattack! Your strength is quite impressive! Come <laughs> on. 
famous for my ability to strike swiftly. Was not enough. Come back later and try again. Incredible. them the strength of our forces. I'm not dying here on this river. You are! Do you wish to die? Then let me help you. Nice try, but you'll never stand a chance against me! Left unfulfilled. Come back later and try again. If we're going to attack, we might as well do it now. Not 
take ah. my head without a fight. I'll show you be pleased when I defeat you. Someday, you shall pay for this. Come back later and try again! The villain Cao Cao and his giant fleet have sunk into the watery depths of Xiangdong. His determination to conquer the land never to resurface again Victory is ours. The day of a land under Wu is close at hand. These waters shall serve as a battlefield. And word of our exploits here shall go down in legend. A new but this but It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Xiao Qiao, second daughter of the altruistic Qiao Xuan. Xiao Qiao was especially known for her wit and great beauty. Together with her older sister Da Qiao, they would be known as the two Qiaos. The Qiao sisters were placed under the protection of Sun Se during his conquest of Xiangdong. After the battle, Sun Se married Da Qiao, while Zhou Yu married Xia Qiao. The two couples got along very well, and the two sisters supported their husbands by helping them on the battlefield. Wu, which had become strong after battling the Yellow Turbans and participating in the campaign against Dong Zhuo, continued to show its might by defeating Liu Biao at Jing. However, Sun Jian was killed during the battle, and Sun Se became the new ruler. Accompanied by Zhou Yu, Sun Se continued his conquest of the land. Xiao Qiao helped her husband by accompanying him on the battlefield, thus contributing to the expansion of their kingdom. Sun Se died from illness, and Zhou Yu was entrusted with Wu. Xiao Qiao was there to cheer up her bereaving husband and continued to support him in his new duties, both on and off the battlefield.
Despite Wu's successful unification of the land, Zhou Yu would be unable to rest. He was now occupied with governing the new land. However, Sha Qiao was always there to support him. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Indeed. I guess now I have to devote myself entirely to you instead. <laughs>